Science rules. Hey, science. Well, what do we have here? Halloween candy, it looks like. Awesome. Let's eat it all. Oh, yeah. Let's eat all of it. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to start with this Reese's. It's my favorite. Oh, yeah. Oh. Us single-celled organisms gotta stick together. You sure got that right. We all have just one cell. We're all just a little bit different though. Me and Euglena have a flagella while you guys don't even have one. How do you get around here? Anyways. Easy peasy. All I do is use my little cilia. See those little hair-like projections? Those are actually my feet that I use for movement. And I use my pseudopod. It gets me from point A to point B. I can also eat with it too. It comes in very useful. Well, how's about we take our flagella, our cilia, and our pseudopod and go on a walk and explore things? Whoa, who are you guys? Well, I'm Andony Animal Cell. And I'm what you call a eukaryotic cell. I make up a whole live animal with a bunch of other cells. Who are you? Oh, I know who they are. Those are those little protists. They're the prokaryotic cells. I do believe they live in a junk drawer. Actually, we don't live in a junk drawer. That's what they refer to our kingdom as because we are so diverse and different, but they can't classify us as anything else. We're pretty unique if you ask me. Yeah, just because you're bigger than us doesn't mean you have to be rude. Eukaryotic cells, you guys are not impressing me. I'm sorry, that was pretty rude of me. I didn't mean to misrepresent my plant cell and animal cell friends. Will you accept my apology? We forgive you. It's okay. But just for the record, we don't live in a silly junk drawer. We like to live in ponds, lakes, and streams. We even like those dirty puddles. <laughs> Why'd the skeleton go to the party alone? I don't know. Why? He had no body to go with him. <laughs> <laughs> What did the skeleton order for dinner? I don't know. Spare ribs. <laughs> Miss Pearson, are you picking your nose? No, I was born with it. <laughs> We're making these peanut 
peanut butter protein balls. They are a sweet treat, but they give us the energy that we need for our body to function and the protein necessary. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add about a half, one and a half cups of oats. So I have my quick oats here. Now, for a measuring cup. Okay. Now, Brinley really likes it when I cook. She's laying in the floor watching me because she knows I'm gonna drop stuff. Okay, so about one and a half cups of oats. Now, I'm gonna do about half of a cup of peanut butter. Now, I don't really like to measure stuff like this, so I'm gonna estimate. I've never been cooking as long as I have. So, you have a measuring cup, use it. I'm just gonna get out a big spoonful. I like peanut butter. Um, looks good to me. bit more. So about a half a cup of peanut butter. I need about a third of a cup of honey. So I'm just going to count one, two, three, four, five. Make that sweet treat extra sweet. Now if you get local honey, it's also good for your allergies because you know, bees pollinate the flowers. You know, we talk about plant cells and how they reproduce. So, if you get local honey, it has local pollens, it's good for your allergies, it helps your body adjust. Now, after I do a third of a cup of honey, you can use mini M&Ms or you can use um, chocolate chips. You're gonna put about a half a cup. Now, I like chocolate. So I might do a little extra, but I'm gonna put those in. And then I need about a half of a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna do a little splash, give it a little extra flavor. And then this is optional, but I'm gonna add in some chia seeds. So if you don't have chia seeds, don't worry about it. Your peanut butter balls will turn out fine. Um, I just like these because they add a little bit of extra protein and they have a lot of fiber. So fiber is good for your digestive system. Um, helps your body process things and do what it needs. I'm just gonna add a little splash of chia seed. I also like to add these to my smoothies. So if you have chia seeds or let me get chia seeds, they're good in protein balls, good in smoothies. And then that's all I need to do. I'm gonna mix these up really well. See that big lump of peanut butter. Miss Cousins is making a mess. But this mess is gonna be super tasty. Seven Science Crew. Science Rule.